Good morning, Twitch.tv. Good morning to YouTube as well. And of course, good morning, many motorways. Let's go to Beijing for today's daily challenge. <laughs> Fuck this challenge and the horse it rode in on. No upgrades, only road. And you start with three motorways. Okay, then. Good morning, Leah. Happy to see you here, although briefly. Wanted to state for the record, fuck this challenge and the horse on which it rode in. Okay, all right. Well, we've got one bridge, we've got three motorways, and beyond that is just road. Is just road. And hey, as long as we have road and business, we can take one of those business and put it on one of those road, and as if by magic, we will have one business and one road. And that shouldn't be too bad, right? That shouldn't be too bad. Everything will be fine. Everything will be fine. I'm sure everything will be just fine. The, the main issues are gonna be water. Well, eventually it's gonna be a nightmare. Because you're, once you don't, once you don't maintain one business, one road, things inevitably fall apart. Because you know, no traffic lights, no roundabouts. Hey, look, twenty road tiles. Once you have to share, things get a little tricky. But the big problem before then is going to be water crossings. Like if we need to get over this thing, we're going to have to use one of our motorways, or you know. Inevitably, we're going to have, say, orange guys over here and an orange destination over here. And that's going to be a problem. We're going to need to, uh, we're going to need to deal with that. Until then, though, it's, you know, we got a business. It has a road. It goes to these two houses. We've got a business. It has a road. It goes to these two houses. We've got a business. It has a road. And now we have an interesting dilemma. And by interesting dilemma, I mean, hmm, this isn't quite a problem. It's just an interesting dilemma. It's a little awkward, not the most pleasant to look at, but again, two pink guys come up along here, go right into there. Everything's cool. Everything's cool. Let's take 20 road tiles. So I think I mentioned yesterday that I was going to, uh, I was going to the doctor, and I had taken the day off of work. Well, let me rant a little bit, and by rant I just mean, you know, a little vent. It'll be okay. About uh, how that whole process went, and I'm sure this is normal. I'm sure this is just how things work, but how things work kind of sucked for me yesterday. So uh, we're gonna use first off the first of our motorways. Getting, you know, come, come on. Seriously? You're gonna go that way? No. I refuse to allow you to go that way. Try again. You're gonna have that awful thing? Go in a north. Here, I'm gonna kill motorway one and we're gonna try it again. Actually, can I try it again right away and have it try? Yes! That, no! Damn you. So yesterday was my first appointment with my new primary care physician, and it was mostly just a, hey, get to know you, I would like to have a primary care physician type appointment, because I just haven't had one of those in, you know, 15, 20 years, for reasons. And, oh boy. Actually, this isn't going to be too, too bad. These yellow guys and this pink guy are just going to share a road, and that's going to have to be okay. Yellows and pinks living in perfect harmony, now and forever. So, it, so it's my first appointment with my new primary care physician, and they ask me to get there, you know, 45 minutes before the appointment. So I do. I get there 45 minutes before the appointment, and I fill out the paperwork, and I'm about halfway through the paperwork they give me when I get called in. Cool. I'm being seen early. No. I needed to... Because I was not done filling out the paperwork, because they called me in, I had to just answer questions verbally from what was on the paperwork, the same exact questions. So that was a fun waste of time. 
And then, after that, I was, you know, told to sit and wait in the doctor's office, and the doctor will be in right away because, after all, I was called in early because we're running ahead of schedule, okay? So I got called into the office at about 12.45 for my 1 o'clock appointment, and I was probably left to sit there at 1 o'clock. And then, you know... 105, 110, 115 rolls around, 130 rolls around, 140 rolls around, and finally at about 145, my doctor walks in. And the first thing my doctor does is continue the conversation he's having with a nurse who and pay absolutely zero attention to me while he talks about how he needs to finish the paperwork for his previous patient. And then he finally explains to me, without even introducing himself, that, you know, he needs to finish this paperwork and he'll be right with me. So I give him the little mm-hmm type nod, because I'm not about to tell my doctor on my very first interaction with him that I hate his fucking guts, even though I'm starting to hate his fucking guts. So, so he goes and he, you know, finishes his paperwork and he goes back out and leaves the room. And then five minutes later, he comes back in and he's still poorly typing away on his shitty little laptop. And he finally comes back in and then maybe 55 minutes after I was supposed to see him and 10 minutes after he first walked into the room, he finally deigns to give his attention to me, which was nice of him. I appreciated that. <sighs> Okay, so, these, uh, these pink fellows right here, they're going to have motorway number two and go over to here. That's just what's going to have to happen. Because the alternative is uh, worse. So these two will go over here. These two pinks will continue supporting this. These two yellows appear to be doing okay so far. These two greens are doing all right. This uh, this green circle has three houses of support down here and three up here. And for the most part, it looks like the three down here are getting the job done, although eventually uh, they're gonna need more support from the north. So that's okay. You can actually get there, right? Yeah, I drew this properly. Okay. Uh, done et moi, 20 more road tiles. Merci beaucoup. All right, you go that away, you go that away, and we're gonna have to have an intersection without a uh, without a light, because these blue guys are just gonna share this road, and you are gonna come up to here, you're gonna swoop right down there, and you're just gonna branch off right here, and that's gonna have to be fine. It's just the way it's gonna be. Here, why don't you? Come over that away. Can I get one more blue guy up here? If I get one more blue guy up here, I'm not even gonna bother, you know, with this connection here. No? Are we just gonna have five blue guys, one up there and four down here? All right, fine. Just so long as you don't ever send people down here, that should be fine. Okay, so pink right here goes into the double plaza. That'll be okay. We'll get another supporting pink. And actually, we'll just do that there. You pinks go into there, and your buddy will be... Uh, I don't know. Ooh, there is that second blue I mentioned. Great. So let's kill all of this. And if we need to, we can run it up that away. Okay. So you want to go there. That's fine. You can go there. Bring more support to the purple circle. That should all work out just fine. So it's 55 minutes after my appointment starts, and I mentioned to the doctor that one of the things I've been going through, and like I'm going to use a term that is often indicative of terrible things, because, you know, it's, well, it's just often indicative of terrible things, but it's a thing that's going on, and it's probably not a major issue, but, you know, again, 375 pounds of the underscore goog here, y'all. So, I do mention that on occasion, I have very minor chest pains, but I do say that magic phrase, chest pains, and whenever you say chest pains to a doctor, the, the doctor quite rightly goes, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Because, you know, 
If the chest pains go bad, well, the whole thing just ceases to be. So we should try to nip those in the bud, maybe. Just maybe. Let's run you down this way, by the way. Uh, you have spawned in a terrible location, actually. Uh, I was going to ask uh, these two guys to swoop around here and provide emergency support for this network, but instead, I don't think we'll be doing any of that. I think we'll just uh, hang tight right here. So I mentioned to my doctor that on very rare occasions when I do what passes for me as regular, as, you know, actually exertive exercise, I do have that magic phrase, chest pain. And the doctor goes in his doctorly way, oh God, oh God, oh God, let's get you an EKG. And I say, okay, and then the doctor schedules a bunch more tests and says there's a lab in this other town that you can go to and yada da 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 And we move on with our lives. And he sends me home and I check out with the nurses. And the nursing staff is all wonderful. I have no problems with the nursing staff. Support your nurses. Every medical professional except possibly incompetent old doctors like mine should be paid a lot more money. Right? But the nurses send me home and they're all very pleasant people. And then as I'm going home, I get a call from the nurses saying, oh, hey, the doctor wanted you to get an EKG. And I'm like, yes, he did. And they're like, you should have gotten that here. And I say, oh, it turns out that I should have gone from my doctor's from my doctor's office straight into a lab at the at the facility where I would have gotten my EKG right away. But the doctor didn't tell the nurses that he wanted me to get an EKG. So they sent me home. Just great. Just fantabulous. So now, after taking all of yesterday off for the appointment, I get to take another half day off of work. It's fine. It's not like I have limited PTO or anything. I have limited PTO or anything. And it's not like I'm you know, considering leaving my place. Never mind. The point is, I, I have to take some more of my limited PTO and deal with the... Uh, and, and go back down to this doctor's office and once again, you know, go sit and wait. And blessedly, I will not be seeing my primary care physician today. Instead, I will just go to the lab and say, hey, I need an EKG and they will get me an EKG. But that is going to be my day. All right, 20 more road tiles. We're good on road tiles. We have all of the road we could ever need. The problem is, well, the problem is multiple fold. One of the problems is quickly becoming that uh, these pink guys over here need to get up there and have no real avenue by which to do that. Another problem is these purple guys right here. These purple guys right here have a lovely little road. Actually, you know what? I think I can just restructure this yellow road in such a way as to accommodate the needs of my purple guys. Because if the purple guys can just come up here, right? You just go there and you just go there, great. So now yellows and purples share this road, which is all great. Additionally, additionally, now it occurs to me, I can take this branching path down here, swoop you into here like so, and provide additional support to the circle. Now also this is gonna provide additional support to the square from these guys, which I don't want, but you know, you, you do what you do when you do what you do. Meanwhile, let's take these four purple guys right here. And I will say these four purple guys. I'm gonna cut you that away. Uh, you've gone circular, but you have plenty of support. You guys, are gonna get my one and only one bridge to come over here and support that. And actually, you know what? Because I've done this, I'm gonna undo this. Because I don't want these guys, or heaven forbid, these guys, to get the idea that they need to go up here. That's just not a thing that we want. It is not at all a thing that we want. Now then, I think it is time. I literally just dreamed that you didn't want to play mini motorways anymore. What a nightmare. 
that's that's not a thing that is presently an issue. I I I believe that I will be playing mini motorways for probably as long as mini motorways is a thing and as long as I have steam and computers and pr PCs exist and functionally the rest of my life. Now as for the fate of good morning mini motorways I have had the occasional conversation with myself about, well, self, if you actually get close to making partner, then, you know, this might be the thing that's pulling down average viewership. And But those are conversations for a future time, you know? Like, we, we need to have orders of magnitude, more regular viewership, which, hey, I would love it. If you know an average of 70 to 75 friends who want to watch the underscore Goog every morning and you haven't been telling them, well, I mean, I would urge you to consider telling them. But until then, we'll be fine. Do you know what won't be fine? Is this pink guy right here. This pink guy right here is, in fact, not fine. Let's fix that. I think we're going to fix that with our last motorway. We're going to take this guy right up here. This yellow road is going to run there now. These three pinks are going to support uh, this business right here. And we're going to take, I think we're going to take these four right here along with this guy. And they're going to use our last motorway to go into here. There you go. Like so. Actually, can I convince you to come at it from the north? No. No. Come at it from the north. Come at it from the... Fine. You know what? If you want to come at it from the east, that's okay. I would have preferred if you swooped down on it, but you know what? That's fine. So you and your friend, you be the primary support for this circle. Please and thank you. And there goes our last motorway. But that's okay. We're doing all right. It's not like we've literally only used 700 trips or anything. <laughs> it's fine. We're about to get 20 more road tiles, and 20 more road tiles will fix everything. Right? 20 more road tiles will totally fix everything. Here we go. Everything's fixed. Okay. So. I do have... You know, I've got plenty of support for this square. Uh, this square right here has... You know what? Actually, I think I'm going to steal back motorway number two. I'm going to steal back motorway number two. And we're going to do that by just pulling this guy and this guy off of here. You three can support this square. You three can support this square. If either one of you goes circular, we'll revisit this conversation. But until then... You're going to be fine. You're going to be A-OK. -okay. Speaking of things that are going to be fine and A-OK, -okay, let's get uh, proactive here. And by getting proactive, what I mean is we're going to run these greens down to here and just divert these two to be additional support for this struggling circle. Because this circle is starting to struggle a little bit. So let's have, you know, these greens up here provide support for this business. These, this green can provide support for this business. We're going to be okay. We've got plenty more greens over here. Everything's fine. You go up that away. You get on the yellow road. That's going to be good. As Sam says... This is fine, says the dog in the fire comic, and also the dog in the wall print that is right over my couch. If I could, if I could neatly adjust my webcam, I would point it at the picture. All right, now, problem. We've got a blue guy right here. What's the best way to get to this blue guy? best way to get to this blue guy is probably to inconvenience these purple guys because these purple guys don't do a lot these purple guys don't do a ton i think they can afford to be minorly inconvenienced so let's just do that let's just cut that road right there 
And these blue guys will point out this away. There you go. You'll give all of the support that this fella could ever need. Okay. How's this purple circle doing? It's looking pretty good. How's this purple circle doing? Eh, not great, actually. This pink circle, rather. Not that great. But you know what? It's okay. It's okay. I think. It might not be okay, actually. It, it could have some issues. Uh, all right. You are green. That is probably fine, actually, because we can just put more greenhouses on... Oh, uh, you aren't presently going anywhere. Uh, why, don't you go present, why don't you presently go there? Here, more greenhouses on this green road. We'll leave four greens to support this guy, three greens to support... Eh, do that. That'll be fine. That will all be fine. You have gone circular. That is a problem. That is a problem. This road is about to get very, 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 uh, very, very clogged. Um, you know what? I think it's time to reclaim a motorway. Yes, let's reclaim a motorway. Let's do that. That's what we're going to do. This road is going to come here now, and it's just going to be the green and purple experience road. The green and purple experience road is going to be a fun time for the whole family. You are going to come here and swoop around to here and go into your magic circle right there. No roundabouts to solve all my problems. You're right, Sam. But I do have motorway number two. All praise be to motorway number two. Motorway number two will cut south very awkwardly and then uh, just shoop up to the northwest and provide a direct route for all of the yellows on the planet to get over that away. Thereby making everything fine. Okay, so motorway number two gets the yellows over to the circle. That's cool, that's cool. Hey you, you have a thing you can do. Why don't you do that thing? Because this square over here is eventually gonna need help. Also, you just spawned and have no reason to exist unless I do that. And there's no real harm in doing that because there are no other yellows or purples on this road. There's just this guy. So now you two can provide support to this business, which is fine. That's a good thing. Give me 20 more road tiles. All right. Now, uh, pink houses, you appear to uh, you appear to have mostly caught up with the traffic demands of this circle, which is lovely. I appreciate that. Uh, green guys, y'all are mostly hanging in there with the double plaza. Purple guys, you have a very long commute, but hey, you're making it work. We got cars and driveways. They're being supplemented. That's okay. Blue guys look like they're doing great. Blue guys don't necessarily love this intersection, but it's okay. This purple circle is very rarely calling upon its Far Eastern support. It does so occasionally, but not all the time. Uh, this, this pink circle, rather, is mad at me. Again. Why would this pink circle once again be mad at me? That's a shame. Come on, pink circle. Catch up. I don't really have anything I can do to save you. So you need to catch up. Uh, give me 20 more road tiles while I think about what I can possibly do to save you. Um, what can I possibly do to save you? Well, let's see here. I do have these pink guys here, but I don't have a bridge. But if I put, if I put these pink guys on this green road, this green business dies. This green business has two houses of support and it's right here. Yeah, that's kind of a problem. So if I slow this road down in any way, this green business dies. Shit. If I... What about... Uh, well, first of all, you can do that. Uh, but what about... Uh-oh. This might just be a problem. I can't have things just be a problem with no solution. 
Okay, what about this green road? This green road is, is kind of okay for now, but if I further complicate that matter, then... Well, if I put these three pinks on this road, right? If I put these three pinks on this road... Oh, 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 I think I'm getting somewhere. If I put these five pinks on this road going this way and then from here i connect them there then this these green guys are fine and happy these green guys are still fine and happy however having done that and that could i then disconnect this yellow connection which isn't actually ever mattering, right? It's just pulling traffic from here that could instead come from here. If instead of doing that, we take you and bring you up to here into the circle, will you be enough support to keep this alive? God, I hope so. Everybody go. Okay, now that's going to put more stress on this circle, which is a problem. But uh, this square got temporarily mad. This circle is presently mad. This green circle is mad just because of the traffic flow of these pink guys, I think. Okay, okay. Everybody calm. Everybody take a chill pill. Everybody uh, hold on to your various hats and horses. You come this way and that away and let's just pretend that that intersection is fine because hey it gets four more pink purple cars onto the very busy road four more purple cars on the very busy road okay this is fine hey purple guys can you just can you just spam traffic can i encourage you to just spam traffic out of here okay green guys you're in trouble pink guys you've caught up Purple guys, you're mad. These green guys are mad. Why are those green guys mad? I've got five... Okay, I've got... Basically, this road is too busy. This road is too busy and too long, and every spawning car creates a new spawning problem. Which... Okay, I understand that. Can I... Wait. Wait. I can separate these two. Oh, ho, ho, ho. this is going to be dangerous. But what if I do this? What if we kill all of that and we bring these purples up to here and all the way down here? So now the greens only have to deal with the greens and the purples only have to deal with the purples it's almost as if we have one business and one road and one business and one road and additional problem additional problem you remember this guy who i who i mentioned was fucked yeah this guy's fucked yeah this guy's fucked but um you know details here uh you're gonna have a road all to yourself just to get you into there and we're just going to pretend that that's fine. We're going to pretend that that's fine. This yellow guy can also provide support up here, which is not needed but appreciated, I guess. I also don't have any real solution to these problems. Like, these problems are also problems. But... Yeah, I don't really have any, I don't really have an answer to those problems. Unless... Unless I... No. No. No, I don't. Uh, sorry. Uh, why are you mad? That's a very good question. Why are you mad? You have no reason to be mad. You have five, you have five houses going into you at a good steady clip. Okay, you are just gonna go. Everybody's just gonna go. Have I solved anything? Probably not. I might have solved this, actually. It might be too late to solve this, but I might have solved this. Every purple guy go now. Every purple go now. Bump, 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 etc. Uh, okay, we're up over 2,000. This uh, this green guy is desperately clinging. Desperately clinging. It's not going to make it. It's not going to make it. 20 more road tiles. Nope, nope, nope. There we go. Oh, tis a shameful thing. 2,065, though. I feel like that's a pretty good score. Lasted 95 days. 
That sounds like the sigh of relief from someone whose whose score was not beaten. Let me check. Top 10 per Look at this great filter. Look at this great filter right here. Everybody got about there and just boom, half of them hit a wall. And the other half broke through. Came very close to Samurai Sam. I did beat Leah Fireheart. I did beat Parlor Ghost. Top 100 in the world. We take those. We take those. That's a solid enough run on the daily challenge. All right. Let us bring in our bestest friend, Wordle. Very best friend in the whole wide world. Aside from, you know, when we're playing Hades and we have best friend Gun. We do like best friend Gun also. All right. What's today's Wordle? Uh, today's first word is Rhodes because it was the only tile we got. It's definitely not Rhodes, but screw it. Okay. So we know there's a D and an O. So, uh, it could be oiled. It's not going to be, but uh, it theoretically could have been. All right, so we know two more places the DNO can't be, and we know there's an E in it. So, we're getting there. We are definitely getting there. Okay, what about uh, it's not, but it could have been? <laughs> That's true. Sam, eventually you're going to realize that I just say the same six phrases in various combinations. I'm kind of like the name of a Horizon Forbidden West NPC. All right. What do we have here? Could it be detox? Could be detox, right? Not going to lie. I was, uh, I was, <laughs> okay, eventually. When I saw the DE, I was like, hey, it might be detox. It's not detox. But, but we do know that it's DE something OT, right? So we just need to, we need to fill in that, this X, which means it's depot. It's got to be depot, right? You go to the Home Depot, you pick up some lumber, you go to the caravan depot, you get a caravan out of town. It's depot. The word is depot. All right. We've solved the wordle, we have done the daily challenge, and I think we will wrap up there. Yesterday's episode was a lengthy one, we'll cut it a little bit shorter, but hey, I want to let you all know a couple of things. First of all, later today on YouTube, there will be another episode of It's Friday, so that means Horizon Forbidden West, that'll be out today. Also, tonight on Twitch, 5.30 Eastern, I will be back with more Hades. And if you're watching on YouTube, we'll see the end screen here. If you're watching on Twitch, stick around for a second and we'll do us a raid. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a good day. Bye-bye.